Vitality uh, Jiu Jitsu, Uncivilized uh, Jiu Jitsu list, and we're going to do another uh, mount escape. So Justin's gonna, got a new one for us today. All right, so what we're doing is we're modifying our kip escape to make it more of uh, self-defense friendly, where we actually have to worry about someone punching us in the face this time. So Mark's going to be on bottom, John's going to be on top. Punch, punch. Mark made a mistake or wasn't paying attention, ended up getting mounted. Now John's up top throwing punches. Now, if John isn't throwing punches at all, all Mark really has to do at this point is connect to his hips and he's going to do his diagonal bridging and get out. Good, come back. But now that John's punching, he can't commit his hands to the hips anymore. He's going to get hit in the face. So what he's going to do is take his knee and use his knee to bump John forward to get his hands to the mat. And immediately he takes his outside arm, which is going to be his left arm, connects to his tricep. And now we roll to the right and do a shoulder elbow hand escape. Perfect. Now, this is very non-conventional. This is not traditional jujitsu. Uh, do it this way. I, I know immediately some of you guys are going to be saying, well, if he does that, he's susceptible to an arm bar or a triangle. Yes, I absolutely know that he is, but two things. Number one, would you rather stay there and get pummeled or take the chance of maybe falling into a submission? And number two, if you know the arm bar and the triangle is coming, it will actually help you pass the guard. But that's a totally different video for a totally different day. So one more time. Mark's on bottom. John's on top. He's getting hit in the face and he's the bump right away. Connect to the tricep, shoulder, elbow, hand. And now he pulls his left elbow back in to negate that arm bar and triangle. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. Starting to string these together. You can find somebody to practice with at home. Um, just go slow. Uh, better off finding a competent uh, jiu-jitsu instructor like Bella and Justin. Usually. Yeah, I'll walk you through it. Well, you can try these at home. Just basically someone's on top of you, uh, you know, they're trying to give you a punch or a purple nurple, you can escape. Yeah. Mark didn't even the, try the to The key is the person on top needs to be a good partner and guarantee that the person on bottom is successful when drilling it every single time. Right, when drilling. All right, so that's good. Leave some comments, uh, leave a thumbs up, and I think we're on, this has got to be less than five or six. So. That's yeah, five or six. Yeah, so yeah. We'll, keep we'll keep going. We'll probably get a, a, at least a solid dozen defensive so you feel confident that you can escape or protect yourself. And then Justin will start showing us some uh, more fun things like what to do once you've escaped. Perfect. Or how I can get revenge on Mark. <laughs> <laughs>